Hello guys and welcome back to the Kids Kindness Club. I hope you are well. Look where I am today. It is half term and I'm about to go on the London Eye with my lovely family. Spending time with my family is the thing that helps me feel relaxed and happy. I love it. Which brings me on to what I want to talk to you about today. Did you know that next week is Stress Awareness Week? It's a week that's designed to help us think about the impact that being stressed can have on our minds and our bodies and what we can do to help us feel more calm and happy. Now, we all get stressed and worried from time to time. It's totally normal and it's absolutely fine to feel that way sometimes. But being really stressed all the time is not good for our health. It releases something called cortisol in our bodies, which isn't good for us over long periods of time. The good news is there is something that can help us reduce stress levels and lower those levels of cortisol in our body. Can you guess what it is? It's kindness. Yes, kindness. Scientists have discovered that when we are kind, or even when we're just around kindness, it causes actual changes to happen inside our bodies that reduce those feelings of stress, lower our blood pressure, and help us feel calmer and happier. So next time you're feeling a bit stressed or anxious, guys, give it a go. Do something kind for someone and notice how you feel. <laughs> This week, your kindness challenge is a super fun one. It's a coloring competition. <laughs> Just download one of our coloring sheets, do your very best coloring and send it to us by post or email. Everyone who enters will be put into a draw to win one of these amazing kind people only notebooks for them and a friend. And remember, if you don't have a printer, don't worry. You can just draw and color your very own sheet of paper. So good luck, gang. Have the best time. What's that? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. We've got some breaking news. Over to Ned in the studio with some kind news from around the world. Over to you, Ned. Hello there, and welcome back to another edition of Kind News with me, your host, Ned Kindlebottom. Today's top story. Millions of people all over the world have been celebrating Diwali this month. Diwali, which is also known as the Festival of Lights, is observed by Hindus, Jains, Sikhs and some Buddhists. It is a festival of new beginnings and a triumph of good over evil and light over darkness. One of London's largest tourist attractions even got in on the act. The London Eye shone a beautiful display of colourful lights over the city from the sunset to sunrise. In other news... Pupils at Shawhead School have delivered make-your-own soup kits to older people in the village as part of the big Scottish Story Ripple of Kindness project. The children harvested potatoes and onions from the school vegetable bed, then created their very own soup recipe. The final soup bags contained potatoes, onions, seasoning, a stock cube and a recipe card. The bags were sealed with a label saying, You're super! and delivered by the children. The recipients of the soup kits were delighted. Well done. Absolutely magnificent. Well done, everyone. Now remember, gang, this is a kind and beautiful world we live in. So if you have any kind stories that you'd like to share, please send them to this email address below and we will share them in the next edition of Kind News. Keep being kind, everyone. This is Ned Candlebottom signing off. Now, just before we go, I'm going to announce the winner of our Make a Difference Challenge. We received so many wonderful entries and they were all fantastic. But as ever, we could only choose one to win this week's prize. So without further ado, the winner of the Make a Difference Challenge is Alexia! So guys, have the best couple of weeks. Good luck with this week's challenge and we will see you next time. Keep being kind, everyone. Bye!